Hey, everyone, welcome back to Life on Wheel. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of aviation with a spotlight on the brand new 2026 HAL Dhruv Utility Helicopter, a game changer from India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, or HAL. If you're a fan of cutting edge technology, military hardware, or just love helicopters, stick around because this one's packed with incredible features and a story of innovation. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss an update from us. Let's take off. The HAL Dhruv, meaning, unshakable, in Sanskrit, is a multi-role, medium-lift helicopter that's been a cornerstone of India's military and civilian aviation since its first flight in 1992. But the 2026 model, specifically the utility helicopter Mariner UHM variant, is a whole new beast tailored for the Indian Navy's demanding needs. This helicopter is an evolution of the original Dhruv, which was developed starting in 1984 with help from Germany's Messerschmitt Bulko Blohm. Despite delays from design changes, budget constraints, and sanctions after India's 1998 nuclear tests, the Dhruv entered service in 2002 and has since logged over 340,000 flight hours with more than 400 units built. The 2026 UHM takes this legacy and upgrades it for modern naval warfare, with a focus on versatility and ship-based operations. What makes the 2026 HAL Dhruv UHM stand out? For starters, it's designed to fit snugly in ship-based hangars, thanks to its foldable tail boom and rotor blades, a critical feature for the Navy's tight spaces on frigates and destroyers. This helicopter is powered by two Turbomeca TM333 to 2B2 turboshaft engines, each delivering around 1,000 horsepower, though some variants use the more powerful Shakti-1H engine, boosting performance for high-altitude missions. The UHM can hit a max cruise speed of about 135 knots, that's roughly 250 km per hour, and has a range of 346 nautical miles, or about 641 km. With a service ceiling of 14,436 feet and a climb rate of over 2,000 feet per minute, it's built to handle tough conditions, from the high seas to mountainous terrains. The UM's multi-role capabilities are where it really shines. It's designed for personnel transport, cargo delivery, and casualty evacuation, or CASEVAC, making it a lifesaver in emergencies. But it's not just a utility workhorse, it's got teeth. The helicopter can be equipped with anti-ship missiles and torpedoes, giving it the ability to take on naval threats like submarines and enemy vessels. A nose-mounted surveillance radar enhances its situational awareness, letting it track ships up to 14 kilometers away with such clarity that operators can even read ship names. This makes it a fantastic asset for coastal surveillance and maritime security. The Indian Navy has a requirement for 111 of these helicopters, and with deliveries expected to start in 2027, the UHM is set to replace the aging Cheetok fleet. The 2026 Dhruv UHM builds on the strengths of earlier variants like the Dhruv MK3 and MKIV, also known as the Rudra, which is the armed version. The Rudra packs a 20mm turret gun, 70mm rocket pods, and anti-tank missiles, showing the Dhruv platform's flexibility. The UHM also features advanced avionics, including a glass cockpit for improved pilot interface, and Israeli-supplied systems for enhanced navigation and targeting. Its composite construction, about two-thirds of its weight, keeps it light yet durable, with a maximum takeoff weight of 5.7 tons and a payload capacity of up to 600 kilograms. The helicopter's self-sealing, crash-resistant fuel tanks and non-retractable skid landing gear add to its rugged reliability. HAL's journey with the Dhruv hasn't been without challenges. A 2009 Indian Army report criticized earlier models for struggling above 5,000 meters due to the TM-333 engine's limitations, but the Shakti-1H engine fixed that, proving its mettle by carrying 600 kilograms to 6,000 meter altitudes. The UHM also addresses past Navy concerns about folding blade performance and maintenance, with HAL refining the design for shipborne use. A recent crash in January 2025 grounded the fleet temporarily, but HAL's quick response and defect investigations have restored confidence, with the Army and Air Force resuming operations by May 2025. 
The 2026 HAL Dhruv UHM is a proud symbol of India's push for self-reliance under the Make in India initiative. Costing around $5 to $6.2 million per unit, it's a cost-effective alternative to foreign competitors like Airbus and Bell. With its first flight expected by May 2025 and production ramping up, this helicopter is poised to dominate India's naval operations. So, what do you think about the HAL Dhruv UHM? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this deep dive, share it with your friends. This is Life on Wheel, and we'll see you in the next one, stay soaring.